Hello, I'm Amy Darone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. Let's practice. Go ahead and come out onto your uh, knees in child's pose. So you're opening your knees hip width apart, your feet together behind you. Bring your forehead to the floor. You can bring your arms to the floor. And you just want to let your arms and elbows, your whole life drop. And go right into breathing in. And exhaling that out. Take another breath in. And exhale out. Something old. Breathe in the new. And just let go to let in. Take your arms out in front of you. Press your palms into the floor. Pull yourself up onto your hands and knees. Taking your left palm on the floor, staying underneath that shoulder. On a breath in, take your right arm to the sky. Set your eyes to look to that upper thumb. And this time I want you to thread that right arm through. You drop your shoulder, your right shoulder and your right ear down. And your right palm is open, fingers stretch out. And you use your left hand for leverage to press your upper mid-back away from you while lengthening through that arm. Breathe in and breathing out. If you wanted to, you can take your left arm up to the sky, wrap it around your back, roll your chest open, peel that left shoulder and left lung back. The peeling happens very naturally by an exhale, and the exhale will allow you to peel back with some gentleness. With some natural ease. Press your left palm into the ground. And then this time, left arm reaching. Exhaling, left arm through. Left ear, left shoulder come down. And use that right hand for leverage to press the upper mid back gently away. Like you're pressing it up against a wall. Find where your breath can come in, but it also gets kind of stuck. And exhale there. Take another breath in. And the exhale releases what's been stuck. And then you can take your right arm to the ceiling. Look at it. And as you breathe out, take the upper arm and wrap it around your back. If your right fingertips come to the inside of your, uh, that crease of your left thigh, awesome. If it's nowhere near, it's perfect for you, that's fine. And that's what you're looking for. Come on back up. Good. And take yourself up onto your knees. While you're on your knees, take your right arm up. Bend your right elbow behind your head. Take your left arm and spin it to the wall behind you while you bend your left elbow. And if you can, catch your fingertips. And if you cannot, grab your shirt. But you want a little bit of space between your shoulders so that you're not jamming them just to try to get your hands to come together. And you're just looking to pull gently that right elbow back. Taking a few minutes to integrate into the pose. But if we open up the back side of our lungs, our back, we'll have more breath space to come through the front. Exhale. Switch sides. Left arm up, bend the elbow. Right arm wraps around, if you can. 
clasp hold of your fingers. If you cannot, meet yourself where you're at. For me, one side is totally different. I can catch my fingers with ease, and on this side, not so well. But I, don't, I could make it happen, but I don't want to make it happen. It's just it's where it's at. I breathe into that, and I breathe out there. And so you open up here, you open up here. Wherever you're stuck, you go there so that you can have that space to breathe in the front. Go ahead, come on up onto your knees. Move yourself into downward facing. <sighs> Bring your legs together. Squeeze them together like they're just one. Bring your uh, ankles, let them press into each other. Right leg on an inhale, take it up. On the out breath, bend the knee, roll it open. Let your head get heavy and see if you can roll open while still trying to keep uh, it's like you're stacking your hips on top of one another. And if you needed to take your bottom knee down to the floor to do this, that's great. Take the foot down. Left side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, roll open. Upper foot, active, like it's against a wall. See if the left knee comes a little higher. Head gets really heavy, head hangs low. Eyes are at the back edge of your mat. Exhaling into that left side of that hip. Roll it down and bring your foot forward to the floor. Walk, feet to your hands. Inhale to a flat back and bend the knees a lot. Bow forward on the out breath. Press your feet into the floor, squeeze your legs. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Set your eyes at your fingertips. And for the next few minutes, you're just going to move energy. Whether it's fatigue, whether it's a lot of head chatter, stiffness, we're moving it. Inhale, reach. As you reach, root down through the legs and the feet. It takes pressure off your spine. As you exhale, bow. You breathe in, you lift halfway. Your shoulders move back from your ears. You press the crown of your head like you're pressing it into a doorway. And step back, high plank. If you wanted to take your knees down, that might be great. And so you'll build a little bit at a time. Otherwise, your legs are straight, your heels press straight back, your chest wall pulls forward, and your arms are squeezing like they're squeezing toward each other. And exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing. In up dog, your shoulders move back. On the out breath, ah. breathe it in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Emptying out all the way. Cinch up your belly, look to your thumbs, bend the knees, and float, feet to your hands. And then inhale, halfway, out breath, forward fold, push down into the floor with the feet, firm legs, inhale, arms reach, stretch it back, and bow forward, out breath. Breath in, halfway. Step back, high plank. Look forward, roll forward. As the chest moves forward, you bend the elbows, breathe out. Breathe in, up facing. Breathe it out, down facing. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. On the out breath, feel the hips and thighs be pulled back. Take your shoulders to your ears, and then draw them down. And the inner biceps, the inner upper biceps, roll them open, just to create that space. 
in your shoulders and your upper back. Belly tight, look forward, and float. Inhale, halfway, out breath, forward fold. Bend your knees, drop your butt down, arms are going to reach up. In Ukatasana, your heels press back, so the toes lift. Your thighs squeeze them together like you mean business. Your arms are at your shoulder level. Hug your shoulders back into their sockets. Arms reach. You sit lower and you breathe bigger. Big breath. Go a little deeper. Stretch up. Sink lower. Nice work. Fold forward. <sighs> Inhale, length. High plank. Low plank. Follow your breath in for up dog. Follow your breath out. Down facing. Right foot, step forward. Back foot pressing down. Take your chest, glue it to your front thigh. Your knee over that ankle, pressing it open to the pinky toe side. Press your chest over your thigh. Stretch your arms back. Pull your chest forward. Let the shoulders be drawn back. Just like with the arms lengthening, fingers stretching to that back wall. Look right at your right big toe. Where'd your breath go? Take your arms straight up. Breathe in, reach high, root down, right hip back, exhale, bend back, hands to your heart, high plank, low, up dog, empty the breath, down dog, look forward, bend that left knee, move, warrior one, and before you come up to warrior one. Again, glue your chest to your thigh. Take your arms back. Look at the left big toe. Press down through the feet and breathe. And the next breath in, reach up. Set your eyes at one spot. So in every pose, you're going to look for your place for your eyes. Rest them there. Land them there. Then go to your breath. Then while you're in the pose a little longer, because I'll challenge you that way, because I challenge myself that way, to come into a bigger strength, to come into a bigger commitment, to learn how to breathe in discomfort. Try it with me. Five. Four. On every exhalation, your hips just drop into the fire more. Two. Press your palms, reach up. Stretch back. And through it, high plank. Exhale, low. In breath, up, out breath, down dog. <sighs> Sounded like I said in breath for a moment, didn't it? <sighs> Yoga clears it up. Take a breath in and a full exhale. <sighs> With that exhale gone, let it be done. Belly tight. Look forward. Pull. Power of your core and legs, feet to hands. Halfway, flat back. Out breath, fold in again. <sighs> Bend your knees, drop your butt into the fire, reach up. Exhale, bow. Flat back. Move into high plank. Big exhale to low push up. <sighs> Big breath in, find you for up dog. Big empty. Down dog. Right foot, move forward. Inhale, arms reach. 
Palms can come together if you like. Bend the knee oh, and press it open. Back to the ground. High plank. Low. Up facing. Empty. Left foot. Plant the foot. Back foot flat. Warrior one. And it's gone. High plank. Low. Up. Empty. Breath in. Out. Breath in. All gone. Breath in. Be free. So holding on to the out breath, holding it in, keeps the in breath from really truly reaching us. It also starts making our energy heavy. When we don't breathe in a lot, it dulls the mind, it has us living in our head. And yoga just is kind of like a machete that just clears all that out. Walk, feet to your hands. Bring your feet hip width apart. And then turn your toes out. Bend your knees and come into a squat. And if your heels are lifted, you take the front edge of your mat over. And you just step right on that edge. So you widen out your feet to create space in your hips. Palms together, elbows pressed to the inner thighs, and you let your butt drop. Your chest is tall, and then you press your chest forward using the elbows for leverage to your inner thighs, like you're pressing your legs back. Because you're breathing, you're not bullying your way through. You're not bullying your body with this. And if you're breathing, you'll do this work in a relaxed way. You bring your fingertips to the floor. Your palms are shoulder width apart. Palms are flat. And then you move into crow. So your heels are lifted. And you bend your elbows a bit. And you see if you can stack your knees on top, like on the backs of your arms. And you just lean your weight forward. And your feet will pick up for you. If you get one foot off, you're a baby crow. But it's not about the feet. It's about the belly squeezing in. And it's about the elbows and knees kind of cinching in toward middle. And looking out in front of you and come down. So I know we haven't done that before, but yoga is limitless. So I'm just giving you a taste of something new. Step back, downward dog. Good. Take a big breath in. One more. And go ahead, take your right foot forward. You're going to come up into crescent lunge. And as we come up, hands to your hips. While your hands are on your hips, wrap the elbows in behind you. Pull your belly up and in. And then you're going to exhale, tap down. Inhale, press up. Empty the breath, tap. Press up. Tap. Hands reach. Hands go to your heart. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, you twist. You take your left elbow to the outside of this thigh. You lift your chest high. Often I'll make a fist on my bottom hand and flatten my palm on top. Gives me that leverage. Because you want your hips lower, but you don't want them heavy. So you still got to keep it light. Squeeze it out. On the every exhalation, ring out. 
Take your bottom fingers to the floor, upper hand to the sky. Wrap your arm around your uh, back and open it up. And knee down. Top of the back foot rests. And turn your front toes out eh, somewhere toward 2 o'clock. Come down onto your elbows and forearms. And if you can, lift the sole of your foot up off the floor. And on out breaths, the right knee, the right leg starts to drop. Just let it drop. Breathe in. Breathe out. We'll bring your foot fat, uh, flat. Walk back. And down dog. Left foot, take it forward. Come up for crescent lunge. Preparation. Hands to your uh, hips. Cinch in. And tap. Press up, empty the breath, breathe it in, drop, press up, reach up, and twist it out, ring it out, look to the side wall, if you're a little wobbly, you just widen your feet out more to give yourself Stability. And there, you feel safe, you'll go somewhere. Bottom fingertips down, reach up. Exhale, ring it out. Shake your arm around your back. And on the out breath, the upper lung, the upper shoulder, peel back. Bring your back knee down. Top of the back foot rests. You're on your elbows and forearms, if possible. Turn the toes out toward 10 o'clock. Pull your chest wall forward. Drop your head. Close your eyes. And let my voice guide you right into that pocket of cement. Breathe into it, breathe out. Breathe in, release the breath. And something that was hard starts to slowly consider thawing. And that's true of the physicality, and that's true for releasing tension in one area creates a little space, some softening emotionally and mentally too. Go to your breath. Direct your breath right there to that outer hip and buttock. It's not easy. That's why you're a hero. That harder path. Leads to the easy life. It takes a lot of energy. To be held so tight. Bring your foot flat. Bring your palms flat. Bring your knees to the floor. Bring yourself to child's pose. Come on up. And go ahead, come out onto your back. While you're out onto your back, bring your feet flat. Knees, feet, hip width. And 
And you're just going to press your feet into the floor, and you're going to lift your hips up like an inch or so, and you're going to uncurl your low back toward the backs of your knees. And then you're just going to walk in with that right arm and the left so that your shoulders move away from the ears. And you're in your bridge. You can hold on to your hips and low back for support. Press your feet down to get the hips higher. And come down. One more time. You can go for bridge. Or you can take wheel. So in wheel, hands to the floor. Tight shoulder people, I recommend turning the fingers out to the side walls. Lift your hips up. Come on to the crown of your head only first. Hug your elbows in and press up. Find the strength of the legs and root into it. So root down for everything to go higher. Come down. (sighs) Take your arms over your head. And drop your knees to the right. Chin goes to the left. Shoulder. And drop your knees left. Come on back to center. And take your right leg up. Hands behind your head. Your left leg stretches out on the floor. Both feet are flexed. Strengthening the back by strengthening the core. Pulse up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come up a little higher. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Other side. Keep going. We're almost done, and I'm right in it with you. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the shoulders. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees into your chest. Big squeeze. And you're going to take your right leg straight, hands behind your head. Your left knee is not going past your waistband, so you keep the knee in line with the hip. Right elbow to left knee. So really bring that elbow toward the knee. And then switch. Ten. Nine. Push out like you're pushing through some heavy mud. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees to your chest. Just rock side to side. And take your left leg out on the floor. Take your left hand to the outer side of the right knee. Take the right leg across. Top of the foot resting. Breathing in and out for the spine to release. Come on back. Hug it tight. Move that right knee toward your armpit. Squeeze in. Sole the foot facing the ceiling. Other side. Left leg in. Left leg across. Out breath to twist. Come back. Hug it tight to the outside. Shavasana. Let everything drop. Let everything melt. Be proud of your work. Namaste.